Module 5. Continuous Improvement. Continuous improvement is a fundamental concept that drives progress and success in various aspects of life, from personal growth to organizational development. It embodies the relentless pursuit of betterment, always striving for excellence through incremental advancements. The essence of continuous improvement lies in the belief that there is always room for improvement, regardless of how successful or proficient one may already be. In personal development, embracing continuous improvement fosters a growth mindset. This mindset encourages individuals to view failures and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. By consistently seeking feedback and evaluating their performance, individuals can identify areas that require enhancement and take proactive steps towards self-improvement. In the realm of business and industry, continuous improvement is a cornerstone of successful organizations. Companies that embrace this philosophy are more adaptable, innovative, and customer-focused. By encouraging employees to contribute ideas and participate in improvement initiatives, businesses can tap into a wealth of collective knowledge, leading to increased efficiency, reduced waste, and enhanced product or service quality. Moreover, continuous improvement is a dynamic process that necessitates adaptability and agility. The ever-evolving landscape of technology and market demands demands organizations to continually reassess their strategies and practices. Those who fail to adapt risk falling behind their competitors and becoming obsolete. Lean manufacturing. Lean manufacturing is a production philosophy and methodology that focuses on maximizing efficiency, minimizing waste, and continuously improving processes. Developed from the Toyota production system, lean manufacturing has become a widely adopted approach across industries worldwide, revolutionizing the way companies operate and deliver value to customers. At its core, Lean manufacturing aims to eliminate any activities that do not add value to the final product or service. This concept of waste reduction is based on identifying eight types of waste, overproduction, inventory, waiting, transportation, motion, overprocessing, defects, and underutilized employee skills. By identifying and addressing these wastes, organizations can streamline their operations and optimize resource utilization. Central to lean manufacturing is the principle of just-in-time production which emphasizes producing and delivering goods or services at the exact moment they are needed. This approach minimizes inventory costs, reduces storage requirements, and increases responsiveness to changes in customer demand, enhancing overall efficiency. Moreover, lean manufacturing places a strong emphasis on empowering employees to be actively involved in identifying problems and proposing solutions. This participatory approach fosters a culture of continuous improvement, where employees are encouraged to seek better ways of doing things, leading to enhanced creativity, morale, and productivity. Implementing lean manufacturing requires commitment and a shift in mindset from top management to frontline workers. It involves adopting lean tools and techniques such as 5S, sort, set in order, shine, standardize and sustain, Kanban systems, value stream mapping, and Kaizen events. Lean emphasizes the reduction of waste and focuses on increasing the value-added activities in the production process. While increased utilization of machines may seem beneficial, it is not the primary focus of lean principles. Lean manufacturing aims to optimize the overall production process, including reducing setup times, cross-training workers, and lot size reduction, in order to achieve greater efficiency, productivity, and responsiveness to customer demands. Lean manufacturing, particularly through the implementation of single-minute exchange of DIE, SMED, techniques, emphasizes reducing setup times to minimize downtime between production runs, allowing for more frequent production changeovers and greater production flexibility. Lean promotes cross-training workers to ensure a versatile workforce capable of handling multiple tasks. This approach enables companies to adapt more efficiently to fluctuations in demand and avoid over-reliance on specialized workers, thus improving overall workforce flexibility. Lean encourages the reduction of lot sizes in production processes. By producing smaller batches, companies can decrease inventory levels, minimize the risk of overproduction, and respond more rapidly to changing customer requirements. Nurturing strong supplier relationships in lean systems, fostering collaboration for mutual success. Lean systems have emerged as a leading approach in manufacturing and supply chain management. Central to the success of lean systems is the establishment of robust and collaborative supplier relationships. These partnerships extend beyond the traditional buyer-supplier dynamics, as lean principles emphasize treating suppliers as essential stakeholders in the value chain. At the core of lean thinking lies the pursuit of waste reduction and the creation of value for the end customer. By integrating suppliers into the lean system, companies can optimize their supply chain, streamline processes, 
and enhance overall efficiency. This integration often involves sharing information transparently, providing suppliers with early visibility into demand forecasts, and involving them in joint decision-making processes. By treating suppliers as valued partners, companies gain access to valuable insights, expertise, and potential innovations that can drive competitive advantages. Collaborative relationships with suppliers foster trust and build a foundation of mutual respect. As a result, suppliers are more likely to align their goals with those of the company, leading to improved quality, reduced lead times, and greater flexibility in responding to market fluctuations. Additionally, strong supplier relationships facilitate continuous improvement efforts throughout the supply chain, as shared goals incentivize all stakeholders to innovate and seek efficiencies proactively. An essential aspect of lean supplier relationships is developing long-term partnerships based on shared values and goals. Instead of merely seeking short-term cost reductions, lean systems prioritize the total cost of ownership and consider the broader impacts of supplier decisions on the overall value stream. As suppliers become integrated into the lean system, they gain a deeper understanding of the company's needs and expectations, leading to more responsive and customer-centric offerings. In a lean system, supplier relationships are typically developed as an integrated supplier program that involves treating suppliers as partners and an extension of the company's internal operations. Lean principles focus on the elimination of waste and the creation of value throughout the entire supply chain. As such, lean organizations work closely with their suppliers to create a seamless flow of materials and information, reducing lead times, and optimizing efficiency. By treating suppliers as valued partners, companies can collaborate to improve processes, share information, and work together to identify and eliminate waste from the supply chain. This approach helps build trust and long-term relationships with suppliers, leading to better overall performance and mutual benefits. Lean systems emphasize a win-win philosophy, where both the company and its suppliers work together to achieve operational excellence and deliver value to end customers. Inventory and lean manufacturing, striving for efficiency and waste elimination. Inventory management is a critical aspect of lean manufacturing, a methodology that aims to eliminate waste and optimize operational efficiency. In traditional manufacturing practices, maintaining high levels of inventory was often considered a buffer against potential disruptions in the supply chain. However, lean manufacturing takes a different approach, emphasizing the principles of just-in-time, JIT, production and minimizing inventory levels. One of the core objectives of lean manufacturing is to eliminate waste in all its forms, including excess inventory. Holding excessive inventory ties up valuable resources, incurs storage costs, and increases the risk of obsolescence. In contrast, lean manufacturing focuses on reducing inventory to its bare minimum, allowing companies to be more agile, responsive, and adaptable to changing market demands. By adopting just-in-time production, companies produce goods only when they are needed, pulling materials through the production process based on actual demand. This approach not only reduces inventory levels but also streamlines production, shortens lead times, and improves cash flow. With less inventory on hand, companies can also identify and address quality issues more promptly, leading to improved product reliability and customer satisfaction. In a lean system, work in process, or VIP, inventory is actively reduced as part of the lean manufacturing philosophy. Lean principles aim to eliminate waste in all its forms, and VIP inventory is considered a form of waste in the production process. By reducing VIP inventory, any production problems or inefficiencies are exposed and brought to the forefront. When VIP is kept at a minimum, production flow becomes more visible and transparent. This transparency allows teams to identify bottlenecks, delays, and other issues in the production process, enabling them to address and resolve these problems promptly. Lean manufacturing emphasizes the concept of pull production, where products are produced in response to actual customer demand rather than being pushed through the production process based on a forecast. By using pull production, companies produce only what is needed when it is needed, minimizing VIP inventory and preventing overproduction. Moreover, reducing VIP inventory leads to several benefits in a lean system. It improves production cycle times, increases flexibility to accommodate changes in customer demand, and reduces the risk of obsolete inventory. By focusing on reducing VIP, companies can create a more agile and efficient production environment. Eliminating VIP inventory entirely is not always practical, especially in complex manufacturing processes. Some level of VIP may still exist to ensure the smooth flow of production and prevent work stoppages. However, the goal is to minimize VIP inventory and use it as a means to reveal and address production problems effectively. Moreover, 
lean manufacturing emphasizes continuous improvement and the elimination of inefficiencies in inventory management. Companies implement various tools and techniques, such as the Kanban system, which uses visual signals to trigger replenishment of materials when they are consumed in the production process. This ensures that inventory is replenished only when necessary, preventing overproduction and excess stock. By reducing inventory levels, lean manufacturing helps organizations become more financially stable and responsive to market fluctuations. It enables companies to allocate resources more effectively, invest in value-adding activities, and minimize the carrying costs associated with excessive inventory. In lean thinking, inventory is often used to mask or hide various forms of waste in a production system. However, long but certain delivery lead times are not an example of waste hidden by inventory. Let's examine the other options to understand why they are examples of waste hidden by inventory. When a company holds excessive inventory, defects or quality issues in the products may not be immediately apparent. Inventory can act as a buffer, allowing defective products to be masked and making it difficult to detect quality problems until much later in the production process or even after products have been shipped to customers. With excess inventory, production delays caused by unreliable machinery or equipment may be hidden. Companies may continue to accumulate inventory while production is slowed down or halted due to machinery breakdowns or maintenance issues. Holding excessive inventory can be used as a buffer to compensate for delays or unreliability from suppliers. When inventory is high, the impact of supplier issues on the production process may be masked, as there is enough stock to continue operations despite supplier-related disruptions. The effect of a lean system on employees. Implementing a lean system within an organization can have a profound impact on employees, reshaping their roles, attitudes, and overall work experience. A lean system is centered on the principles of waste reduction, continuous improvement, and employee empowerment. As such, its effect on employees can be both positive and transformative. The effect of a lean system on employees can best be described as lean engages employees in problem-solving activities. One of the key changes employees experience in a lean system is a shift in their responsibilities. Instead of adhering to rigid job descriptions, employees are encouraged to take on a more versatile role, involving cross-functional collaboration and problem-solving. This fosters a sense of ownership and accountability, as each team member becomes an integral part of the lean transformation process. Lean systems prioritize employee engagement and involvement in decision-making. Employees are encouraged to contribute their ideas, suggestions, and concerns, making them feel valued and heard. This participative approach not only leads to better solutions but also boosts morale and job satisfaction. Moreover, the emphasis on continuous improvement in a lean system nurtures a culture of learning and adaptability. Employees are encouraged to identify inefficiencies and suggest innovative solutions, fostering a growth mindset within the organization. This approach encourages professional development and equips employees with problem-solving skills that extend beyond their immediate roles. Lean systems also empower employees through training and skill development. Cross-training and upskilling initiatives prepare employees to handle diverse tasks, promoting a multi-skilled workforce capable of responding to changing demands. This versatility not only improves operational flexibility but also provides employees with a sense of confidence and security in their abilities. However, the implementation of a lean system can also pose challenges for some employees. The shift in responsibilities and the focus on efficiency may cause initial resistance or fear of change. Effective change management, open communication, and supportive leadership play crucial roles in addressing these challenges and ensuring a smooth transition.